Well, you know, we like to think that, you know, here in California, uh, green has almost been legislated, so, it, which is a good thing, you know, I think that we're very aware of, you know, the kinds of features that get built into buildings, and aside from what I think of as kind of the base response that architects, all architects should have, I mean, we're very careful about the selection of materials to make sure that we, we really are choosing things that are sustainable and environmentally conscious in terms of their manufacture, but I, I think that a lot of the initiatives here that we're able to kind of do to transform this building it will be, you know, there'll be a whole, an entirely new mechanical plant installed in this building which will be in a very high performance equipment which will probably reduce energy consumption in this building by half of what it would have normally been. You know, I think that, you know, on top of that, uh, you know, uh, we're probably a little better than uh, the Energy Conservation Code of California, but you know, high performance lighting. Uh, I mean, I think all of those things have been kind of thought about as far as the incorporation of you know, l low energy usage in the building. You know, additionally, one of the things that we've decided here in Santa Barbara, which is kind of unique to this building, is we've been able to kind of, uh, in our terms, sh short the air conditioning system a bit by really introducing fresh air into the building in ways that architects normally don't do. Uh, you know, we have a terrific climate here. 95% of the time, we can almost air condition this building without the use of air conditioning. And we felt it was very important to incorporate that as a major design feature in the building of the lower level. So uh, I, I think that, you know, in the end, we're gonna be, we're gonna be pretty green. I think the lucky part for architects when they wind up working on a, an, a commission that's especially a collegiate uh, type project is, you know, m college projects tend to really require that you kind of bring your best academic tools to the table. I mean, the best buildings really happen, but, you know, architects build their best work when they're doing work for academic institutions. And I mean, I think there's a reason. I think that, you know, having a certain sense of intellectual rigor come to the architecture helps foster that as a kind of basis of campus life for students and faculty. You know, I think that our design for the, that lower level of the building is quite interesting. I think it's going to kind of push the envelope here in Santa Barbara a bit, but I think it bespeaks to people being educated at, in our time. Uh, you know, it's wonderful to be ensconced in this kind of the sweetness of this historic kind of architecture, but I think the interior of the building that we've created takes a slightly different tact. And I think that we've kind of used modern tools to create a modern university that really speaks to issues of our time, like transparency and increased communication. Uh, you know, and I, I think that all of those, using your architectural tools to create that kind of environment, uh, you know, just in terms of the offices that we're moving into, I mean, it's a very different uh, organization of spaces now, and I think we're going to increase the amount of collaboration and communication just by how the architecture is organized. Everybody in our office is going to take a rest for a little while, you know, although we still have one more phase of the project to go through. Uh, you know, I have to admit, I've been incredibly uh, delighted by how the university, government, uh, you know, the building department, the mayor's office, uh, everyone has cooperated to kind of make this project happen quickly and successfully. Uh, they all, we all feel that Antioch will be a great asset to Santa Barbara. It's always been a great asset to Santa Barbara. It'll be a particularly great asset to be downtown here in Santa Barbara, linked to what's really becoming kind of an academic community with other institutions close by. So, you know, it's really great to be part of a win-win-win situation. And uh, I would love to, you know, I think we'll continue our relationship with Antioch for, for a long time to come.